what's going on guys it's the vdm with another video this time we're going to be taking a look at an afk farm in warlords of draenor so this farm is as close to afk as you'll get nowadays since there isn't an ability that goes on non-stop but this farm you only have to use an ability once every seven seconds if you have a monk so for this farm what you're going to be doing is going inside this little area here where a ton of mobs are going to be spawned. Some of them are going to be fighting the Frost Wolf clan. But what you're going to be looking for specifically is the spearhead mob. So you're looking for the Thunderlord sp spear hand. Um, there's one here. You'll sometimes see them fighting these three mobs over here. And if you do see them fighting, you want to kill them or just wait for them to be killed off so they start to spawn again. So these mobs are always running along this path. They always go through the exact same path and they go and fight those uh, frost wolf mobs down at the end. So the cool thing about this spawn is as soon as those mobs die, more mobs are going to spawn, hence the hyper spawn. But they always come from the exact same locations and they always run through the exact same area. All those mobs are going to be running through this channel here. So it makes it really easy to set up a totem, a black ox statue, so that they will always come in, they'll always have to AoE on it, and you never have to move from the spot, and more mobs will continuously come to you. You don't have to go to them, you don't have to run around, they'll always run past this location right here, and you can set up your totem so you're always able to hit them. So I'll show you the spot on the map, and also some more footage of what the farm actually looks like. You'll get up to eight mobs at a time. If you're not, if you're only getting like two or three mobs at a time, that could just mean that there's a mob somewhere over anywhere in this area that you may have to kill. That's preventing it from hyper spawning. I found sometimes I had to kill this guy here for whatever reason. He's part of the quest, but you just go around. If they're spawning really slow for you, you just kill a couple of the mobs. There's also a hyper spawn over here as well, where the mobs actually jump down from above. They spawn somewhere right right where I am right now and they run off the edge jump down and they attack these dudes over here or the sorry they spawn right here but this farm over here there's only ever two or three that spawn at a time so it's not as worth it up here I mean if you have an extra character may as well because you're both within loot range of each other but the big one is down over in this area here you want to set it up either in this little pathway here up on this crook and what you're farming for is black rock bulwark now that's the epic world drop that can drop from any mobs in wad and it's the shield that is worth hundreds of thousands of gold and it sells super quick because of the appearance it's a sick looking shield now there are some other um transmogs that sell for a lot too it is wad the green cell the blue cell the other purple cell i've sold them all um or i haven't sold them all but i've sold a ton of them and it's definitely worth checking out especially the weapons a lot of people are buying the weapons and some of them are worth a lot of gold now as for chromie time and using this spot as a raw gold farm i did try that as well i tried it with a group of two so i don't know how well it wouldn't really change that much with a group of five as long as you're killing them in somewhat decent time. I use my demon hunter in this spot here because he kills them the fastest. But I was only looking at about 3,000 raw gold or so. So if you multi box with a bunch of balanced druids and you can just AoE everything down just as quick as you normally would if they're low level, then by all means, definitely you can try it out in Chromie time as well for the raw gold. But the gold here wasn't crazy. It seemed like there was some kind of nerf because the items weren't selling for that much. Although they do drop a lot of greens and a lot of grays. So my recommendation for this farm is to not do it in Chromie time and just farm it strictly for the transmog but it's up to you if you want to try out the chromie time and maybe you'll get better luck than i did maybe i just had a rough patch of mobs or whatnot but i was setting up my statue right where i am right now and it worked out great i only got one epic from the spot but i got a ton of blues tons of greens and there's always that possibility that you'll get the black rock bulwark and it sells for a fortune but that's it for today, guys. I have another farm that I will be showing you guys in a day or two. I'll be posting a video for that one. And it's a secret farm that I've been doing for a while now. And the items from it are worth 
a ton of gold and they sell extremely fast. But I hope you guys enjoy the spot. Let me know what you think um, about the spot here. The mobs don't spawn as fast as like a regular hyper spawn where you can just the faster you kill the more they come out. This one is more based around it being an AFK farm. Um, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel for more. And until next time, guys, bye bye.